What day is today? What day is really? today? Really? You're saying it? You should. Happy Sunday, you know what? Fun I should have everyone. recorded you 10 minutes ago and they could have they could have heard your voice then. It's Sunday fun day, y'all. Really? Sunday fun day? We're, I'm sitting in a swirly chair. That might not be a good thing. Actually, I just had a great idea. Might not be a good Let's thing. play a game. How many times can I spin George before she throws up? There's one, oh, two, uh, three. No, 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 don't, don't. Uh, we'll throw up. Two and a half. We just ate dinner and it will come all out. Don't tell them who we ate dinner with yet because they're going to have to guess <laughs> where the hails do you think we are. So we did meet some very special people tonight for dinner. We did. And you're going to have to guess where the hails you think we are. We can tell you we are not in Ohio. We're definitely not in Ohio. That's your only guess. <laughs> and we did have a phenomenal dinner this evening, so that was a ton of fun. We're going to share that with you in just a bit, mm -hmm. but we got to know your guesses. Where do you think we are? Chrissy dinner, says New York. Mm. Dinner was so good. I ate it all. I didn't even have to box a thing. Okay, you guys don't understand how monumental this is because <laughs> George has George is this small with an appetite this big, and she'll order everything and she'll <laughs> and then everything goes in a box and then I have to smell nasty broccoli for the next five days. What's wrong with broccoli? It stinks. He has such a hate for broccoli. Tell them, we, tell them, you guys, how healthy broccoli is for you. Grammy Alice just sent two ninety nine. Boom! Thank you, you already. so much. Uh, you don't have to miss us. We're right here. We literally <laughs> are right here. We, we're not. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Colin just sent Appreciate five dollars. Boom! Thank you so much. Uh, there will still be videos every single day as we can. That doesn't mean we always will be able to, but as we can. So. Uh, we're See, broccoli's yummy. Broccoli's the best veggie. Broccoli, broccoli is 100% good for you. Broccoli literally broccoli smells like the excrement. Best, is the best. It smells like excrement in the fridge, <laughs> in the room, Ooh. all around. Violet says broccoli and cheese soup. That's my favorite. Broccoli, cheese, broccoli and cheddar soup. Mm, it's. Mwah. I'm I'm so glad you have your own house. <laughs> Only, only one person has said broccoli is nasty. Uh, Deanne Hamilton sent $5. Georgia. Georgia. Good guess. Good guess. We That's can't a tell you. That's good guess. It's not New York. We will say not New York. Who told you? What? Who told her? Told her what? <laughs> that broccoli is gross? I did. Broccoli is gross. Debbie Dever sent two ninety nine in a, in a hotel, hotel room. room. Bam. Maybe. Maybe not. Where are, are we? Or is this a brand new house that we bought? <laughs> You're going to find out soon. Or a bread and breakfast. A, bre a or bro bed and breakfast. Did you just say a bre 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 bed bre and breakfast? A bre 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 B and B. B and B. B B B Look what I can do. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Uh, for those that was don't that understand, that was an inside joke. Was that your talent? In the no, talent that was an inside show? joke. And you know it is <laughs> from the videos that you actually took this past week. <laughs> Are you going to put any of those up on the channel? <laughs> Nikki T says, one million from Ohio. One million. It feels like it. Actually, it's not that far away from Ohio. But we are not in Ohio. Las Gary o says Las Vegas. Someone said Texas. A couple people said Graceland. Some people are even asking, did we make it to Florida yet? My goodness, you, <laughs> you have so much to catch up on. You know, we've been getting comments like crazy. Oh, I'm going to miss you so much. We're not gone from YouTube. <laughs> We're still here. We're literally here right now. Midwest Picker, $5. Uh, fair warning, Jeremy, something about... It went so fast. Fair warning, Jeremy, in some countries, if a woman sticks her finger up your nose, you need to buy her flowers and chocolate. <laughs> Must be this country. Uh, usually her fingers are in my ears. Would you stop with my orifices? Uh, so... Oh, uh, I sent $5. Lonnie, four ninety nine. dollars <laughs> So we have, um, have had a crazy week. And if you haven't kept up with not only YouTube videos, mm -hmm. but YouTube stories, which will give you... All YouTube videos are all recorded beforehand. 
They're not in what we would call the real present. Mm -hmm. The stories are more of this is did happen this day, which could be more of the present, but still recorded earlier. Obviously, it's not real live. It's usually not like, on that this day, right? This is live. Yeah. If you're watching this, this right now, as it, can, as it gets, and you can type in the chat. This is live. This is 100% right now. We have had a hails of a week, and we are not in Ohio. Dina just sent five dollars. Boom! Thank you so much. Oh, bam. Uh, an incredible week too. But a lot of people are wondering, George, are we leaving YouTube? Definitely not leaving no. YouTube. Lonnie just sent four ninety nine. <laughs> bam! Thank Boring. you so much. Boop. As a matter of fact, we're trying to do YouTube better by <laughs> attempting to to buy property and to move into Florida for the winters, not forever for the winters. Winter in Florida will allow us to buy more volume in regards to storage unit, treasure hunting, and also will provide more opportunity for what the hails, or excuse me, what the ASMR Wait, the videos. ASMR. Yeah. So we are not, uh, we're not going anywhere in regards to YouTube. We're here to stay. Uh, we're, we want to do things better. Yeah, just leaving Ohio. Did you? Did we get any good footage when we were wherever we were and where we are and mm -hmm. all of those things? Yeah, you know, I think no matter where we go, we always vlog our lives, so it's always good footage. Alicia Lopez, four ninety nine. Are you in Tennessee? Tennessee. You're the only good ten guess. I see. Really good guess, Alicia. You're the only ten I see. <laughs> she must have seen our stories. You're the only ten I see. <laughs> Dillhole said. Did you have $2 broccoli? Says hi all. Say hi to Denise. What hi, up, Denise. Denise. What did uh, D nice? What's up, D nice? D nice. <laughs> Lynn Palmer sent two dollars. Thank you so Thank much. You it, Lynn. So we obviously don't have a guitar with us, so we're not in a place where we have a guitar. Mm. A couple people guessed we're still in Rennick, West Virginia. Rennick, West. Oh, Rennick, West Virginia would yeah. be where Bone Cave is. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a good guess. That is a good guess. Yeah. Uh, Billy wants to know, will we be back for the November 15th sale? It's November 14th. So we can't guarantee anything on November 15th. November but... 14th is fast forward upcoming Saturday. <laughs> what 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 day falls on the 14th? Anna Marie Richard sent buck 99. Come to Boston. 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 Uh, we are having a Boston. warehouse liquidation auction. So Lots of people are saying, is that because of the landlord? Nope. Lonnie just sent nope. $4.99. It's Bam. something that we do every fall and every spring just to liquidate and it make makes more space. room. Yeah. Make space. So we're going to have a ton of fun. We will be at the warehouse, Lord willing. If nothing, if nothing, you know, nothing happens, we'll be there on November 14th for that auction. We've been posting about that. Rob with Second Sense will be the auctioneer extraordinaire. So yeah. if Which you can Rob make it in there, the chat right now. if you can make it there, George will be doing autographs. Sean sent five dollars <laughs> for a kiss for him. <laughs> He's gonna try to turn his face. <laughs> I had broccoli. Or did I? I didn't have Joseph just sent nine ninety nine. I love you guys. <laughs> love your last coin pusher video with your BFF. Thank you so much. I miss my BFF. Well, you'll be seeing him on the way back home, so... You're going to let me make a pit stop? No. On the way back to Ohio? You're going to give up broccoli? You give up broccoli and we'll stop there no. for a day. Nah. I'll never give up broccoli. Sorry. Well, I guess you're giving up your BFF. What's more important, <laughs> broccoli or your BFF? <laughs> They're both equally important. Dina, $5. Did you make it to Graceland? Mm, that's a good question. We could be in Graceland. We could be, yeah. It could we be. talked about. We did talk about that in one of the coin pusher videos. That uh, that was one of the things. We were gonna that, make a pit stop yeah. to Graceland. Pit stops are fun. Yeah. Pit stops are fun. Yep. We could be there. We just don't know where the hails we we possibly are. But we will share with you. <laughs> we will share with you. So we're definitely not leaving YouTube. We're trying to do YouTube even better based on a winter location in Florida. Um, George, what, what's happened? Did, 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 did we even make it to Florida? I'm not saying we're in Florida, but did we make it to Florida? We did make it to Florida. Um, we've gotten several messages and emails from our subscribers Thank checking you, Carla. up on us to make sure that we're safe and sound because apparently there's a bunch of storms in Florida. 
We have no idea we because have, it's been we don't watch the sunny. news. It's been 80 and sunny. The weather. <laughs> it's been incredible. The weather has been perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. No bugs. Uh, Linda thinks we're in, on Kelly's Island right now. Hmm. We do have an offer really in on property guess. on really Kelly's Island. Guess. And is that is that premature to say that there's an offer on property in Kelly's Cindy Island? Cindy said, "I heard you're on Santa Bay Island." Mustang one, thank you so much for the ten dollars. Oh, it. that would be nice. Joe sent five dollars. We're in lockdown number two. Lockdown number Ooh. two in the UK. Oh my Bam. Goodness. I didn't know lockdown number one even ended. Service Chihuahua. Jeremy said Chihuahua. Bam, got it that time, didn't I? <laughs> Speaking of chihuahuas, we were driving and a little chihuahua ran out in front of the truck. And guess what I did? <laughs> He slowed down, and okay, I, I made sure down. I made I sure down. I saw him move and get out of the way. But he was the cutest little thing. He was like, "Ye little." I did slow down. I thought it was a rat, but it was uh, it was a chihuahua. You know them Florida rats? They look like chihuahuas. <laughs> Overgrown rodents, like in, uh, in like in the forest. In um, what's the movie I tried to get you to watch? No, I can't think. Princess Bride, the overgrown ro rodents of unusual size. Mm. Yeah, so. Christopher just sent five dollars. Thank you so much, Christopher Thomas. So we did make it to Florida. Yes, we did. We and made it safe and sound. No, no flat tires. No truck issues. It's just been smooth sailing with perfect weather. And we did get brand new truck tires, sixteen hundred dollar tires, uh, before we went to Florida. Yeah. I had bought a unit for eight hundred and some dollars, and the tires we thought they were going to fit on our truck, but once. Once we, I, I had the guys look at the tires and say, listen, th there's not enough ply uh, for your truck for this. So we couldn't actually use those tires. So I did have to get brand new tires. So that's been good. We made it, no problems. So did we look at any properties? I'm curious. Well, let me ask you a question. Riddle oh, me Mike's, this. Mike says Elvis misses me. I bet he does. At least someone really? misses me. <laughs> really? You're going to start this again with Elvis? Elvis misses me. Well, right, Elvis probably question. doesn't have to put up with you every Bonnie day. Bonnie Fleming says, uh, hi Bonnie. guys. Bam! <laughs> How did you like the small town? I guess that's where you were feeding, feeding the, birds. the birds. We were in a smallish town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the question is, did we view any properties yet? So, what's your question to my the question, question? The question is, Jeremy, did we view any properties yet? So, you're asking me if we're actually announcing that yet? Yes. We literally did a story and put it on YouTube and Facebook saying that we actually made an offer on a property. So, you don't remember that, do you? Well, I remember. I didn't know we that have. we released it as a story. We viewed a total of five different properties. All in the same city. And, uh, well, roughly around the same city. Debbie, Ragi, $5. Thank you so much. Now, those five properties you <laughs> will get to see in a video. And you'll get to actually help us decide which property you think will be best mm -hmm. for us. So, we don't own any property yet. We, we do not own any property. We did... Officially, not in, Florida, not in Florida, at least. In Ohio, we own nothing. We own nothing in in Florida. Mm -hmm. We did submit an offer that has not been accepted and has not been countered offered as of yet. David just sent four ninety nine. Will you be getting a warehouse in Florida for your auctions? Remember when we drove by the old uh, general store and I was like, let's buy that as a warehouse. Yeah. So probably at some point. Definitely will need storage. We definitely space. need we need a place to live first. Mm -hmm. So we viewed five properties and we made an offer on one property that has not been accepted and has not been countered offered yet. And you will get to watch, get that the ability to watch the video and decide which one you think we actually made a counter offer on. And then when we actually do secure a property, because we don't own anything yet, nothing has actually been secured yet, and we do have a backup plan, there's another piece of property that'll be a backup plan, you're going to get to guess which property we put an offer on, and when we actually get a piece of property, you're going to find out with a follow-up video if you were right or not.
Mm -hmm. And then a lot of our uh, subscribers were concerned about hurricane season and that that is the number one question that we asked. We did meet with three different realtors. That is the number one question we asked the locals and we asked the realtors, what's it like during hurricane season in the city? And it doesn't matter. We won't be there during hurricane season. So one, we won't be there during hurricane season. And two, apparently they don't get affected by it. You just get high winds. Joan just sent four ninety nine. Thank you so much. So uh, in regards to that, we've heard, uh, aren't you scared of the gators? No. Aren't you scared of the snakes? No. Aren't you scared of the hurricanes? No. No. The reality is this. You can live your life in fear and do nothing and be crippled by it. Or you can actually go out and live life. Choose to live life. So any anything that you can come up with, you can come up with something else, such as if you live in Ohio, aren't you scared to drive? You could get in an accident. Aren't you scared to go get groceries? You could get the flu and die. Uh, it could go on and on and on. What if, aren't you, aren't you, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And the answer to all of those are no. <laughs> Peter says, aren't you scared of the ghosts? <laughs> There's <laughs> one thing I'm scared of, Patricia. When she goes full Patricia mode, Laramie. Patricia. Laramie. Patricia. Laramie. That is scary. Laramie Lorraine said, Are, aren't you scared of people? <laughs> uh, Release the Kraken. Happy birthday, Logan and Jack. <laughs> Bam! Aww. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> I'm ready. Go for it. <laughs> we haven't, to... we have not run into any sinkholes. I'm so clampy. Are you going to sing it? Happy, happy. I don't know how it goes. I don't either. That's right. why I stopped singing. All right, I'm done. <laughs> no sinkholes. No sinkholes. No black ice. We've uh, gotten a no little bit of drizzle. Literally, it's drizzle, 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 and then it stops. Kind of refreshing the because it's been out. so warm. It was like... <sighs> yeah, it's like a little drizzle, and then the sun's little back mist. out. Little mist. Little yeah. mist. Little mist is good. Yeah. Bill Hole just sent 279. Where's your mask? And he, you know he what? did wear it. You know what the best part is? Uh, I've been wearing my, I have been wearing my mask, but in Florida, no longer a mask mandate. Mm -hmm. So that was, we were actually, while we it were in so Florida. It was so foreign to us. Like what? We were like in they Ohio, they're making here? us wear masks and everything. Yeah. Unless we were on Kelly's Island, they didn't care. Unless we were they in Amish country, either. they didn't they care. They didn't care either. Different places in Ohio, they're like, who cares? And, um, and so we got to Florida and we're like, nobody's wearing a mask. And then finally I saw a police officer and George is like, no, you have to wear a mask. And I was like, there is literally a cop right there yeah. next to us with no mask. I was it like, was, so then they told us the masks were mandated, but no longer. And now it's up to the person you get and, to decide. To, and to the, the business. Yep. So they get to decide. But I just, I, I'll, wear, I'll hang it behind my ears and let it hang under my chin just in case. So she wears a beard mask. Yeah. Uh, four ninety nine. <laughs> hope you're doing good. Boom! Appreciate it, Larry. So I have the mask and it is in the truck. And if needed, I, I am wearing it on the road. In Ohio, it's still needed in certain situations mm -hmm. and certain places. But uh, most of the places we've been down south don't need it, which has been refreshing. It's been, now, yeah. I also understand that there are going to be people offended by that when I say that. And let's face it, there are going to be people offended by anything we say. It's your right to wear a mask if you want to wear a mask. And it's obviously a right down south. If I don't want to wear a mask, I don't have to wear one. And I don't want to wear one, so it's nice. Debbie Vaughn, $2 <laughs> towards the baby gator. Thank you so much, Thanks, Debbie Vaughn. Debbie, Debbie knows she it's knows. not a joke. She knows it's not a joke. Have we seen any gators during our trip Well, yet? I was going to ask you, what are the animals that we've actually seen since we've been on the trip? Let's see. Let's just go with Florida animals. Florida, okay. Okay, Florida. Florida animals, and I don't know if you posted this as a story, but we've seen a, a ton of deer. That got posted as a story. So but if you want to see six deer, then... They almost look like baby deer, oh but my, these are adult deer. They're so tiny compared so to Ohio deer. So in comparison to... The deer that we see in Ohio, the deer in Ohio are so much bigger compared to the Florida deer. The Florida deer are petite. They're small. They're like Egyptians. They're small and petite. <laughs> they're small and petite like me. And then in Ohio, they're, they're big. Like... They're big and husky like Jeremy. <laughs> they're I monsters. mean Laramie. So, so what I've seen in roadkill so far. Okay, I yeah, saw hit, hit roadkill. We had a turtle cross us, when, two days ago? 
uh, yeah, two days ago, and I was like, ah! and I'm like, I'm gonna get out. I'm like, I'm gonna get it out. I'm gonna get it. And she's like, no, no. I'm like, I want that turtle for our property. She, he no, was gonna get out of the no. truck and try to rescue it. I'm like, no, just leave it alone. So leave I wasn't alone. allowed to rescue the turtle no. in the middle of the road. And then, although I think you all agree, I should have let us know in the chat. I should have gotten the turtle out of the road, took it to one of the properties, put it in one of the ponds that we were looking at. But George would not let me. Let, let, was George right or was Jeremy right? Hashtag Jeremy or hashtag George in, in, the, in the chat. Yeah. So yeah. we saw, um, today alone I saw roadkill of porcupine. Or not porcupine, possum. And then I saw a turtle. It was, and then I was like, well, maybe it's an armadillo. But it was too big to be an armadillo. And then I saw the first uh, wild hog as roadkill you know the people that are saying george if you would have said the other direction if you were like you need to save it i went no they would go hashtag george <laughs> oh my goodness i've created an a animal. lot of people are saying that the key deers are small uh lars just said lara whoa sent once i think that's denmark from denmark you guys uh, are hi from Denmark. you guys are amazing You're definitely, definitely in Kentucky. good guess very good guess, good guess, guess. Fast Eddie sent two dollars. Did Jeremy eat the Skittles? The one that was here, one, here, that, here. You mean the three that he put in my ear and up, up each nostril? You can tell the story. You I can tell just, the full story. We're if you want driving, to. and I was minding my own business, and he's just shoving Skittles down his face while he's driving. And then he thought it would be hilarious. He thought it would be a brilliant idea to stick a Skittle in this nostril. Then he decided to stick another Skittle up this nostril. Pause. Then he decided Pause. to stick Hold a another second. Skittle. Hold a second. First of all, what you need to understand, she sticks stuff in my nose and my ear I've all never put in, the time. The only thing I do is my finger. I don't put Skittles okay. or objects so in your now, nose. Now, time back in. <laughs> Dill hole's already going to bed. So then... <laughs> Not. All right, so Good keep night. going. So then... Um, he thought it would be hilarious to stick a Skittle in my ear. So that has been posted as a story. And then he goes, I'll eat it. So then you see me taking them out of my nose. And then and the then video he, ends. What happens after that? He eats them. Because he's weird like that. You're such a liar. So she takes he's them out. Like that. She takes them out. I'm driving. She's literally trying to force them in my mouth. I'm slapping her hands. I'm driving 70 miles an hour. She's trying to put snot skittles in my. Because you said you were gonna eat them. It was a joke. I was a joke. It was a jo I was joking. You eat storage unit food. Is a joke. And she's trying to put snot skittles. She's literally like this, <laughs> forcing them in my mouth. I'm driving 70 miles per hour. I'm like, get away, get away. And finally, I got them out of her hands and threw them out the window. <laughs> that would have been the best part of the I video. I for sure see. thought he would eat them because he eats stale food out of the storage unit. I mean, come on. Uh, Sissy Pauline just sent, <laughs> sent three dollars and thirty. That might be Russian. Do you think that's a Russian ruble? Maybe. That's very Maybe. cool. Appreciate it. Sister. Thank you so much. <laughs> so no, I did not eat those Skittles. George did try and force feed me them. <laughs> Truth seeker says the deer out here are just dehydrated. <laughs> there Probably. you go. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> not enough. Not enough salt water. That's that would be my guess. That would be my guess. So what other animals did you see? What else have we seen? Crypto said first on snottles. <laughs> Brand new flavor, snottles. Not storage should, boogers, Jane says. You should you should pitch that idea to, to Mars Candy. How about snottles? Uh, LC in Florida says only 70 miles per hour. You weren't uh, on the interstate. <laughs> okay, I was doing 80. We were on the interstate. I was doing 80. What else have we seen that I never, that I haven't? Listed. Uh, what did we see yesterday finally? When we were getting ready to leave and we finally, I was like, there it is. Oh, we saw a ton of carp. We saw a ton of bird. And then we finally. Oh, now you finally, remember. She just thought, remembered. Someone told us that they saw a manatee at the end of the boardwalk. And when we got there, all we saw were huge carp like ginormous carp and we're like well maybe someone confused the carp for a baby manatee and yesterday right before we were getting ready to leave the the boardwalk at one of the springs sure enough there was a manatee there 
So we did. We did get to see Manatee. It was probably see, like an adolescent. Probably, yeah, probably adolescent. Yeah. It, not full size for sure. But um, we did see one manatee at a, at a distance. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen any snakes. That's, so the funny part is, is everybody, you know, sending us comments. No, you have to be careful. You can't go. The snakes, the Check snakes, the snakes, car the snakes, the snakes, you, the snakes. Yeah. They have no idea how much <laughs> raw virgin Florida property we have tramped all over. And again, how many snakes have we seen? Well, actually, one. We went to a picture. We saw a picture of a someone. Snake. Ha someone found a rattlesnake in the back of their business, and they have it taxidermied on their on oh, their ceiling. Okay. Yeah, we so did it was like see, the rattlesnake. We saw the, the skin. skin of it. We yeah, saw the skin. Yeah, he had it taxidermied. That was actually really we, cool. We, I'm okay. I'm gonna do the math right now. Twenty six acres, thirty acres, seventy acres. We are at another sixty. We have probably tramped over three hundred acres. Mm -hmm. In Florida. Yeah. We've been on over 300 acres in our search. No joke. And we have seen zero. Ah, oh, G. Zero uh, snakes. G. Fixler says he's lived in Florida for 10 years and never saw a snake. There you go. Interesting. We didn't see one <clears throat> single Yeah, I thought they snake. would be everywhere. Brenda wants to know armadillos. Did we see an armadillo yet? No, not yet. At first I thought I saw a roadkill, but it was a turtle. Tara just sent $5. Tara. Keep it up. Thank you so much. <laughs> So, no, no armadillos, although I've been in Florida plenty of times and seen armadillos all over, but we didn't see a single armadillo. Mm -hmm. We saw a deer. Uh, the first tons home. Tons of cows. Tons of horses. Horses, Tons cows, of farms, donkeys. Yeah. Tons of goats. And so, the first location, when we got there, would the owners tell us 10 minutes before? That there was a six-foot gator sitting at the bed of their pond. And guess who didn't get to see it or wrestle it? He was so disappointed. That would have been a selling point for him. If that gator was still price. out there, he would have paid full price. He would have pulled the trigger and paid full price. <laughs> I would have, I would have pulled, paid full price right there and went, you got a gator sold. So... Got it sold. Done deal. Done deal. So uh, that, does that pretty much sum up? the? We saw the six deer. We saw the manatee, the carp. Tons of birds. tons of tree farms. Yeah, so lots of tree farms. We've got to see a ton of tree farms. Uh, where we're at, the paper where we are at, or were at, or could be at, or might be at, uh, the paper companies used to own all the land, and they would yeah. they would actually farm. The trees for the, the trees. paper, which so is no longer. So either pencils, toothpicks, paper, whatever. Should we share with everybody where we're at right now? I think it's time. Sure. We are, are we in Florida? Well, wait, let's give them a hint. Let's tell them who we had dinner with. All right. Because they're in the chat right now. Right? Well, well, let me show them a picture of who we had dinner with and see if they can guess. Okay. Okay. So let's do this. Um, I'll try and do it this way. We blow up. Okay. Okay. This is who we had dinner with. Can you guys guess where we are? Do those faces look familiar? This is who we had dinner Not with. Not the girl in the blue hoodie or the guy in the gray hoodie. Who are the other two in the picture? All right. Debbie is saying Savannah, Georgia. I see Jonathan says Florida. Matt Kentucky, sent $4.99. Uh, Thanks, Matt. Mark says Atlanta area, Georgia. Uh, John says that's Rev. All right. Uh, Billy says South Carolina. Uh, Flippin' Adventures says that's Rev Resale. Uh, Adventures with the Hudson says, hey, Rev Nikki. Nikki. Rev Nikki. Um, <laughs> so we got a lot, of, a lot of guesses coming in. A lot Georgia, of guesses coming in. Georgia. Somebody thinks we're in Nevada. Hand -handle. Hand -handle. Somebody thinks we're in Cincinnati. Randy, Randy just gave up. <laughs> he just went, Grace. drop the mic. I'm out. Someone, someone said in the chat that the panhandle has a lot of tree farms. Huh, interesting. That is interesting. That is interesting. We... Drum roll. Are near Atlanta, Georgia. We had dinner <laughs> with Rev Resale. That would be the Rev and Nikki T. Wheeler. I did see her in the chat. <coughs> yeah, we had a we had a great uh, dinner with them. So we have been to Florida. We're now driving back up 
from Florida, mm -hmm. and we got to stop and get to see Rev Resale. Oh, there he is, is right there. Five dollars, some good looking people is my guess. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, they make bald. They make bald look good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, I'm I'm hurting the whole bald thing, but but Rev there, he just he, he pulls it off. It. He, rocks he pulls it, it that's off for sure. <laughs> Absolutely pulls it off. So we got to meet up with them. That was a ton of fun. When we come back down, we want to try and spend some more time. A little bit more time, yeah. Today we only got to spend, what, an hour and a half with them? Probably, yeah. I think we were out dinner, hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. But then we have the, we had to get back to the, the live hotel, stream the and live. traveling. Well, we wanted to get together with them on the way down. The problem uh, Robert is... Robert says my neighbor saw you at the hotel. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that could be true. Which hotel? Robert? Yeah, which one? Which one? So we were going to try and get with them on the way down, but we had scheduled viewings of property. Uh -huh. And it just, actually, one of the realtors called us right before and said, hey, can we bump this up a day? And we had to get there a day early, so we actually drove all the way through, mm -hmm. and we made it there. It was there. perfect timing. It actually worked out yeah. well. Yeah. So uh, we got to see them on the way back up, and we'll take a little bit more time on our way back home. We do, again, we have a pending offer in on a piece of property in Florida. Mm -hmm. We don't have a rejection or an acceptance or a counter offer yet. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping to hear soon about that so we can, we can make something happen. But uh, we will have a video and you'll get to see, in the video, you'll only get to see four of the five properties that we looked at and you'll get to decide which one do you think we put an offer on. And when we actually get there to the property, if we can move, if we actually buy a piece of property, then you're going to find out which abandoned piece of property we, we bought. And the properties are, are abandoned in one way or another. Steven sent $5, says, hi, George and Jeremy, just got here, so I'm a little, little behind the news. We just announced it, Steven, so you got here just in time. The, the, great, the great news is, is you can always <laughs> rewind and Watch go see replay. it all. Yeah. Go see it all. That's the, that's the cool part. So tomorrow we're going to get on the road again. This is our this is our our break of driving today. Mm -hmm. So you drove for an hour and a half while I was editing, and then we switched. I drove from where the city that we we were staying in until we hit the Georgia Welcome Center because I did have to use the bathroom. The Welcome Center is actually really nice. Joseph sent five dollars. Thanks, Joseph. And then we switched. And that's when we switched. And then we almost ran out of diesel. So we were right by the Florida Georgia line when we switched. So were you singing any songs? No. <laughs> like, baby, you a song. You made me want to roll my windows down and cruise. Uh -uh. No? No. I wasn't singing either. <laughs> Definitely wasn't. Yeah. So tomorrow, can we tell them what we have scheduled for tomorrow? Do you want people to show up? Oh, wait. It's all scheduled. It's all scheduled. Okay. Yeah, I, um, plus, we're not giving a time. All right, here's what we have scheduled tomorrow. <laughs> breakfast. Because she get hangry. I, I, I still can't believe... Nikki and Rev, she did not bring that bread back. And she never not does that. I ate everything at the restaurant. I didn't box anything. Usually when we go out to eat, I'm always like, box it. 90% of her food gets boxed. But we didn't have lunch today, so I was pretty hungry. We were driving straight through. Yeah. We had a couple uh, snacks, snacky snacks, but no lunch, so I was able to eat. Nikki my just said meal. no bread left behind. I cannot <laughs> believe. It. I don't even know who you are anymore. He he looked at the waitress and she well she asked, "Do you guys want more bread?" And I said, I looked at her and I shook my head, no. And I'm like, who the hails is this? I don't even know who she is anymore. <laughs> and then somehow bread showed up. And then I can't believe you didn't take it. Like that I didn't is box so anything. that is so not you. You must, your, your meds must be, her meds are off. I should have brought it and then we could have fed the, the gators or the birds. With or them. her meds are off. That's what it is. Please, 10 <laughs> minutes before we went live, you're trying to say your meds aren't off? <laughs> Someone guessed gummy bears for snacks. Close. In, in Close. the, in the. For lunch today, for our snacky snacks. What we had for lunch? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No gummy bears. No gummy bears. You didn't bring gummy bears. Mm-mm. No. Starburst and cashews. Yeah. Starburst, Starburst and cashews <laughs> in the truck. So tomorrow, what else are we doing? Why don't after you tell breakfast? Them. We're going to get up, pack, and then... We're going to check out the aquarium. We're going to check out the aquarium uh, in Atlanta, which I heard is phenomenal. 
from friends that live in Ohio that have gone to the aquarium. So hopefully we can get some awesome ASMR videos out of that. That would be awesome. So you'll see that on our What the ASMR channel of <clears throat> some aquarium footage. And then we'll head, we'll probably end up in Tennessee. And we're going to try and do some, some uh, cave work up in Tennessee the following day. Oh, Debbie said the Coke Museum, which Nikki actually... Yeah, she told us it's right there. She said it's literally right there, the Coke Museum, where you can sample Coca-Cola from all over the world. And what did Rev say? He said, make sure the... you try Beverly. <laughs> he goes, you got to try Beverly. It's awesome. But we sent some sarcasm when he said that. Which we love. Love sarcasm. We do. Love sarcasm. That's the best ever. Uh, so we'll probably end up in Tennessee tomorrow, and then we'll do caving. We're going to go see Ruby Falls. We've gotten a lot, a lot of recommendations from you guys to check out Ruby Falls. On the way down to Florida, there was a huge sign that says that said Ruby Falls. And then Nikki said also, oh, let me find it. So the, after we leave the <coughs> aquarium, if we have time, then we'll stop at the Coca-Cola Museum, okay. which I think would be really cool. And then Nikki told us to go to the Tuckalichi Caverns as well, which is another cave which is in, in Tennessee. Tennessee. So we'll probably hit that up at the same time. Okay. Tuckalichi. Can you say that? Tuckalichi. 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 It's like <laughs> Italian. It's a Tuckalichi. <laughs> yeah, I think the Coca-Cola Museum will be interesting because I love to sell Coca-Cola. I love finding Coca-Cola vintage items and I love selling it. Usually we just find Coke, no cola. <laughs> typical Ohio unit. Do you think do you the think sugar the, booger? You think the Florida units are gonna be like that? Probably. Now all, everybody Probably. everybody who is who is um you, we understand the aspect of trying to be helpful and <clears throat> saying don't move to Florida uh, by all means, we're going to move to Florida. <laughs> Sheila says you can't put a gator in your pocket when you're at the aquarium, Jeremy. <laughs> you're giving Want him ideas, Sheila. Have you seen? Steven sent five dollars. Says I'm still trying to figure out is. what a great looking lady <laughs> like George is doing with a guy like Jeremy. <laughs> I'll what give you three guesses. Three guesses. So, anyways. <laughs> so, and would you stop? <laughs> So she's always trying to poke me somehow, some way, sticking her fingers places. If Open Adventure says Kentucky Down Under is a great stop in Kentucky for Australian animals as Ooh. well as game tour. Ooh. The Kentucky Down Under. So, so <clears throat> Florida, why? And, and just to be clear, I had no idea where we were going in Florida to look at property. That was 100% you. So I'm 100% edit the videos. You were 100%. Just tell me where to drive, figure it out. So what made you choose the area? Why the area that you chose? Not, not that we're saying the area yet, although yeah, some people have figured it out. A lot of people have figured out by just looking at the stories. And I think we may have mentioned it, right? In the Might have, well, we definitely, we show a video. When is the video gonna be released? Probably after we know whether we purchased the property or not, because okay. we don't want to release a video and go, hey, we're buying this property, and somebody come in and go, what? No, we want it, and then try and put in a bidding war. That would be foolish. So you're never, you're not going to see, you're not going to see a video of the property until we actually have a secured piece of property, because so many people watch the videos that could actually hurt us in regards to trying to secure a piece of property. Not everybody has the sweetest intentions of the majority of the 99.9% .9 of the people who watch What the Hills. <laughs> but hopefully soon, hopefully soon, once there is a signed contract and agreement, then the video will be released, which is already in the process of being edited. So why, okay. why the so, location? So he, Jeremy already gave me an idea of the type of home he wanted. Which was what? what t talk us through it. Talk us through it. What are we talking about? Double wide, maybe even triple wide. Shoe, because that's how big my foot is. <laughs> I've been wearing these socks for four days in a row. Don't show me your dirty not socks. We have done laundry. I yet. packed for I packed for a week. I'm an overpacker. He's an underpacker. I packed for a week too, but my socks got dirty. <laughs> I packed like five, six, six outfits, 
And then I did bring laundry detergent, so I would wash them and then... No, you forgot laundry detergent. That's why we had to go buy yeah, some today some. and why we haven't had anything washed yet. So we, we anticipated doing laundry on the road, but we forgot, lo and behold, quarters. <laughs> we lit, guess whose job that was? When we went caving, everything was so dirty. So the little to-go detergent that I bought and like the small box of fabric sheets that I carry and the, the bag of quarters that I carry are in my car because I was going to take all that dirty caving clothes to the laundromat because there's no way. Because I didn't want them in my actual washing machine. They were even allowed machine. in his washing machine. So we got on the road and they're all sitting in my car. JK says, why do you need socks in Florida? <laughs> True. <clears throat> um, wait, what were we talking about? I lost my train of thought. Uh, why you chose the oh, area okay. that you chose. So double wide. Well, what I told you was a lot of the home construction in Florida is double wide. Mm -hmm. And that's come a long way. But that's not... And then he also wanted a ton of acreage. I don't care about a double wide, I, but acreage. I did tell you yeah. acreage. I want acreage. A, a lot of the homes that are on these acreage is, properties are... They throw a double wide on it. Yeah, double wide. And um, want it to be close to major cities. And by close, we mean hours away. Yeah, an hour or two away. And then close enough, maybe an hour or so close to the water. So we're somewhere floating around where we can get to anywhere, any direction, yep. at any time within <clears throat> two to three hours. And then at least an hour away from a major airport. Not a private airport, but like an international airport. So that way you can fly back to Ohio whenever needed. Mm -hmm. Once a week, twice a week, whatever. Yes. For holidays, emergencies, doctor's appointments. To, run, to run away from Patricia. <clears throat> <laughs> you think you're yeah, crazy, you, Jeremy? Why you no call? You just so why silly. you no call? <laughs> A lot of property are haunted in Florida. Even better, even <laughs> better. <laughs> Calls for a great video. So we wanted we wanted anything near a hub for airport cities to have acreage to get the most bang for your buck. Definitely wanted a ton of wildlife. Wildlife was huge in regards so, to ASMR. Gators channel. and snakes, wild boars, deer, all those types of animals. It doesn't bother us. Like we welcome that. And we understand if you fear those things, but we would just ask that you respect us. That we yeah, everyone has their own personal preference. And there's a lot of people that can't handle snakes, and that's okay. But for us, we welcome the wildlife because we I like can't to, wait to throw a snake at you. <clears throat> we love to vlog our lives and if we can record it and share that experience with other people out there that can't ex experience it in real life but could, you know, live through our videos vicariously, then we welcome it. Somebody <laughs> asked, would there be indoor plumbing? Uh, should we we could probably share in one location, well all, multiple locations that we looked at. There is absolutely no electricity. You are completely and totally off the grid. Yes. And so solar Actually, power is Actually, three right. of the properties that we looked at was literally off, off the grid. Off the grid. 100% off the you grid. You would not have electricity, so you would either live off of a generator or go solar. And not only are they off the grid, but you are locked out completely from them unless you have a key, which is even better. You're off the grid, but you're completely locked out from civilization in a, in a yeah. reality yeah i mean in, in essence it's a gated community a community of <laughs> of one with a huge gate with a long driveway it will make a half hour long driveway when it'll I make a whole lot more sense once you see the video driveway we're talking about a half hour to 45 minutes long driveway steve wants to know any updates on the warehouse yep court is may 10th on my birthday. That's easy to remember. 2021. That's the only update. We know cord is the coming. Mm. So we looked at some, uh, Rod wants to know, hurricane shelter. Uh, no hurricane shelter. Hurricane, sh if you know something's coming, you just leave. 
So I don't really yeah. think we, we need they a usually, shelter. With, well, and on top of that, just talking to the other locals, like when they say, hey, there's a hurricane coming, usually you're, you're notified days in advance. So it's not going to hit like that, like a tornado would in Ohio. There's Ohio's known to have tornadoes, which we could be affected by. I mean, my house in Ohio is five minutes from where a major tornado, tornado tore hit. up yeah. Worcester. So, I, and I grew up on Kelly's Island where there's water spouts, which is a tornado. So again, we've gotten all of these concerns. Jeremy George, you can't go because of gators and snakes and hurricanes and you can live your life in fear or you can actually go out and live your life. And we're not going to live our life in yeah. fear. I mean, if you lived your life in fear of everything, you wouldn't live. So, you so, know, there's danger everywhere. Mm -hmm. Get in your car. Leave yeah. your, leave, leave mother, your door. Mother and... nature can strike at any time. So after talking to the locals that have lived, we did we spent an extensive amount of time talking to one of the, the current property owners that, of the property that we looked at and asked them a ton of questions and... Um, they even said, you know, we were given days in advance. We just drove up north. When we came back, everything was usual. It was like nothing happened. And they have lived on that property for years where I think a total of four hurricane, they were affected by four major hurricane and their property and the city. Spotless. Uh, nothing happened. Yep, spotless. I think one of the times which has happened in Ohio, I've lost power so many times from storms where I've gone two or three days without um, electricity. And I think the most they've lost electricity, it, again, in the city city that we were looking at was two days tops. But um, according to them, the electric, electric company, they're on spot, they're on it, where they make sure that everyone gets electricity as soon as possible after a storm. And remember, all we have to do is drive north. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's another road trip, just another road trip, another reason for a road trip. And when we would be in Florida, we wouldn't be in hurricane season or the wet season. Anyway, we would be there during the best season, which is the winter. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not effective. It's not effective for us. That doesn't mean something couldn't happen, but anything can happen anywhere. Every time you, right. every time you, you leave your home, stay in your home. Yeah. You got danger all around you. When, um, when Jeremy and I first started dating, he took me to the location where the tornado hit. We and it literally, that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. It literally is what three, a three mile drive from your house where the, where the tornado hit. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Flippin' Adventure said people lose electricity because of snowstorms, too. Mm -hmm. We did. Yeah. Didn't I lose electricity? Remember? One I lost the... electricity and I did the whole video. I was eating boogers and Cheetos, <laughs> living by the fire. Adam sent $5 says, I have a feeling what the hell is 2.0 Florida edition will be on. Awesome. <laughs> if it goes yeah. as planned, it will be amazing. There was, there was one time where a transformer blew up and there was no rain. There was no weather, anything. And a transformer blew up and he lost power for a couple hours. So anything No, that was a happen. couple days. Don't you remember? And I was doing i was doing a video by the fire fireplace and i made a joke that i was eating boogers and cheetos it's was on the it channel days? it was multiple days it was way more than two days so it's on the channel somewhere yeah carla says i think everyone should live in the moment don't That's you remember really all we have don't you remember i did pay for this <laughs> you remember that inside joke? i do remember okay. that but i don't remember it you losing days. power for, I had to manually push open a storage unit. I went to the storage unit because I didn't have power at home. So <clears throat> I just went to the storage unit and worked and I had to manually open the fence. I had to push it open. You lost power at the warehouse for no reason. <laughs> and water. <laughs> water, power, everything. For no reason. <laughs> everything. Everything. Just another day in my life. Yeah. And the nice thing is like, when you lose power, we, we find so many brand new uh, candles that are in a jar, like the Bed Bath & Beyond ones, that we keep those all over his place. And there's always a backup generator. So we're always prepared for some type of... Remember when we did the live on the generator too? Mm -hmm. We didn't have power. There's yeah, a live stream on the, on the channel and it was all based on a generator. Yeah. It's because I, we had no power. It was, yeah, that was during the same time we did the live stream. And we powered everything with the generator. And that was the only way that we did the live stream. We have yet to miss a live stream. Mm -hmm. Even the power was out and we still had a live still stream. Still managed to do the live stream, yep. Yeah. Yep, still managed this to December, do it. This December 2nd of 2018, 
was, was when this channel one. did the, its first live. So this coming December, less than a month. And they were horrible. Less than a month. We we're still trying to figure out uh, lighting. We we're still trying to figure out which camera. YouTube changes their platform all the time. So there was only a certain way you could do live streams on their on their platform. And so YouTube has come a long way as well. So now I don't need like a fancy streaming program. I could just stream directly from YouTube. Like right now we're going live from my cell phone and YouTube has it set up where you can go live and it's so much simpler without the additional added uh, stream tool. Somebody asked, how will you manage your business, Jeremy? And, and um, leadership and management are, are things that uh, are near and dear to me. And the way that I would manage my business is I'm not a manager. I'm by no stretch a manager. That is not who I am. Thanks, Carla. I am what I consider a, a, a leader and an entrepreneur. And management is very different as far as terminology and definition in my mind. I don't manage people. I go, this is the direction we're headed. If you want to go, let's go together. So the way that I would manage my business is I'd find a manager, somebody to manage. But management is not my skill. Entrepreneurship and 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 visionary direction that's my skill but management is not my skill whatsoever so you hire people to manage and that's the goal of any entrepreneur is you start a business you put everything in a business then you hand it over to somebody else to manage you go live your life and that's what the goal is always is to do is to hand it over to somebody else you make passive income go go live your life mm -hmm. michael said jeremy you hitting that tanning bed <laughs> I have probably this is all just from having the windows rolled down. I'm probably ten <laughs> shades lighter and whiter than I was months ago. Here, let's bring it in. Bring it in. I'm Who's still darker? darker than you. I'm always darker than you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Debbie Vaughn says I can hire her. Bonus. She's gonna be on the videos. You can hire me. She's got a she's got a sense of humor. She'll be on the videos. Senses of. Humor. Joe wants to know how do I find your ASMR channel? You type in what the. ASMR and it should be the first one to pop up YouTube is recognizing it now so uh -huh. that's a bonus yeah uh, Colin just sent five dollars thank you so and much and you can find a link to the ASMR are you putting it in all the descriptions now uh, the ASMR isn't promoted on what the hails YouTube it sometimes is promoted on <clears throat> what the hails Facebook rarely but sometimes Oh, okay. Our moderators will drop the link uh, for you guys in the chat. Please and thank you. But what the hails is promoted on what the ASMR. Right, right, Does that right. make sense? Yes. Debbie Vaughn's second degree is in BS. <laughs> That's my first degree. <laughs> That's why we love you, Debbie. <laughs> Remember, Debbie and JK, they, if... If we die we have due so to many. a hurricane. We have a lot of funny subscribers. You guys are Yeah, but hilarious. we've willed what the hails to JK and Debbie Vaughn. <laughs> and they are to take the reins. And they are to continue the what the hails movement it's going like, forward. Uh, thank you, Flipping Adventures. She just put the link in uh, what the ASMR. Nice. Thank so you so much. So if you click much. on the link that Flipping Adventures just dropped in the chat, that'll take you directly to our second channel where... ASMR is pretty much just a relaxation channel where you can experience uh, different scenic areas that we capture and we just post it on the on the channel. Remember when we talked about... You don't about... see us in it. There's no talking. It's just enjoying either like a nice sunset or waves crashing. Um, and then we have some fun ones that are going to be released this upcoming uh, week. Remember when we talked about flying in uh, Debbie and JK and having them host an entire live stream and we don't <laughs> even show up and they pretend they're us? So JK would wear a gray hoodie. And this is an idea that we threw Debbie around that we haven't on, done yet. Debbie would put on a brunette wig. I have the wig. You could borrow this hoodie. And then we put them on the live stream. They act like us and we are we have nothing to do with it. And see what people... So that was one video idea that we thought was pretty awesome. Uh, Adam says, to hails with the snow, you stepped into a hurricanes like a boss. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Adam. Nice. Adam, I think, is from... Uh, Vegas. So oh, yeah? It's nice weather all year round. The Florida weather has been perfect. And other people other people have said, oh, no, you can't move to Florida. You can't, you know, it still gets cold and snow there. 
We've asked every person we've come into contact that are locals, what's the coldest it gets? They said, well, you may, may, one or two days a year, it may get down to 30 something, but by noon it's in the 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. Which anyway, we're okay with. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Because we're okay in the with morning, weather. Yeah. I stay up so late actually editing that uh, I try and sleep. It doesn't always work this way. I try and sleep to at least seven. I'm, I'm usually up by what, seven, mm -hmm. seven, three? I don't know. I stay, I stay up way too late. Like, people have been commenting, Jeremy, you look so tired in the videos. I'm, I'm exhausted in those videos. We've worked so hard uh, to get all the videos out and to be able to, to get away this past month and to get to Florida and to still keep you guys entertained on a daily basis. So, so it is. I mean, it's, it's you work nonstop every waking moment, edit video until you fall asleep, wake up and do it again. Thanks, Sharice. She said, I've shared all your ASMR channel with a lot of people that have been stressed out this year. Very helpful. Thank you. Tim Martin said, uh, they came you. in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> I've never hit so hard, you all. So the very first live auction Jeremy ever took me to, we were doing a karaoke in the car and he recorded it and wrecking ball was one of them. And YouTube flagged it and, and silenced it because and it was, it was copywritten. <laughs> Star 0327, I, Jeremy and George, Lakeland, Florida, Central Florida. I live here for 30 years. We only have tropical storms. Looks like we got plenty of land and wildlife. Ooh. Bam! Mostly those hurricanes end up being tropical rainstorms anyway, once they yeah. hit land. Nice. We, and then we had several um, locals that we met just from hiking and our subscribers too that said that they were from the the northeast area and they moved to florida and they'll never move back oh yeah and that they love it here in florida but our plan would be to flip flop back and forth back mm -hmm. and forth back six and forth. months in ohio six months in florida you're gonna let me stay there six months now mm -hmm. wait so you're doing six months in ohio while November, i do November, so December, you'll do January, six February, months March, in Ohio April. while I'm doing six months in Florida mm -hmm. and then we're going to flip flop. And then back in Ohio in May, my birth month. So I'll be back in Ohio in May and then you'll go to Florida in May. So we'll flip flop six months, six months yes. and miss yes. each other each time. Yeah. Okay. I see how that's going to work. <laughs> you just said it. You suggested it. You just so. said that 10 minutes before the live stream. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're so crazy. <laughs> Kim said she moved to Alabama to get away from the snow in Michigan. I did ask him, well, what are your thoughts about moving to either Alabama or Georgia where the the water in the Gulf is baby blue, clear blue? And he looked at me, he's like, so I took that as a no. <laughs> I wanted storage units in Florida since Florida is like the storage unit capital of the world. There's more storage units to, to buy and to explore and to treasure hunt. So mm -hmm. Flipping Adventure says, so what you're saying is people are going to miss you for half the year. Um, <laughs> we'll still be vlogging our lives. Every single day. Yeah. That's what we should do. You should go we'll up still to be Ohio. Going, we'll still be going live every Sunday. I'll go Sunday. to Florida. And then you create video of yourself in Ohio while I create video of myself in Florida. Send it to me. I'll edit it all in. Okay. And then you can go we live could, one we could Sunday. Still, we could still go live every Sunday, but we'll just stream yard it. But you can do all the lives, and I won't have to do lives anymore. You do all the lives from here on out. <laughs> he would never give up the lives fast ed sent two dollars what are you says, talking about i came to vegas to get away from pennsylvania nice pennsylvania is our neighboring state in ohio one of the reasons why our early our early live streams are so horrible is because she wouldn't talk so literally we there'd be like two people on the live stream i would talk they would ask would, one question i would talk and I would have to give a 30-minute answer to the question because she wouldn't talk. And if you, if you really pay he attention... He just loves to talk. If you really pay attention, I still am trying to get her to talk. But, it, like, if He's Mick Draper is... Talker. If you meet us in person, minus <laughs> Rev and Nikki tonight because we talked to YouTube. If, if we're talking Jesus or if we're talking YouTube, I, I'll keep up with you. No problem whatsoever. But other than that... 
I don't talk much. So, like, I know Mick Draper just put a comment in a couple days ago. She's like, you ever meet Jeremy and George? George does all the talking. Eric sent $10, says, I can't wait till you guys play the next Elvis machine. Me too, Eric. Me too. <laughs> On the way home. But tonight when we were with Reverend Nikki, I talked. I probably talked the most. Well, there's he, no doubt. I he talked always the most. talks. Don't it's, believe him. He if we're not talking time. Jesus and if we're not talking YouTube, then I just sit back and listen. But the very first live stream, she's like, I'm not talking. You have to do. Well, she's one, like, I'm just going to sit there. A lot of the format of the live was questions about reselling, questions about storage unit buying. And I was a noob. A noob with Tim a Martin. capital N. Tim Martin says, I agree. He loves to talk. So, thank you, Tim. Tim knows Tim's, you very well. Tim's one of my buddies from my from my Christian camp uh, days, for sure. And uh, Flippin' Adventure says, what about a ketchup combo? Okay, yes, ketchup. He'll talk about ketchup all day. Yeah, that's that's good, too. <laughs> Sean says, George, a.k.a. Gap. And Metamucil. <laughs> there are two things that will change your life forever. Number one. Metamucil, first and foremost. And I'm excusing. Number crystal one, light. Jesus, first and foremost. <laughs> Number two, Metamucil. You need both. They'll both get you moving. So, anyways, subscribers were asking questions related to reselling and storage units, which I didn't know how to answer those because I was new to that. If anyone, I was learning as people were asking. So my job was to was to read out loud the questions that people had and then his job was to answer it. And then obviously I would answer all the easy questions like, what's your favorite snack? Nikki T said, yep, <laughs> restaurant broke the rules about the ketchup bottle tonight. They did. <laughs> yeah, they did. They She's did. like, don't you tell nobody. She's like, don't you tell anybody. I'm just bringing you the bottle. <laughs> I do not feel like making 10, uh, you asked for 10 of the, oh. 10 of the, what are those things called? Uh, the, the cups. The cups, yeah, of ketchup. And which I told he, him, I was like, which he just... would have not used all 10. He would only use six. He just likes to be difficult. I would have no, used all 10. No, he just likes to be difficult. I would have used all 10. Then how come every time you ask for 10, you leave four behind? Because you four have to... untouched. So be... just ask for six. <laughs> because you have to have enough... I have to, I have to use in scarcity. I have to kind of <laughs> ration it out because they're so crazy with ketchup right now. That's the reason why. Uh, how old are you? Jennifer wants to know. So is there a ketchup shortage in your mind? Apparently, every restaurant you go to, they don't give you any. <laughs> Got carpal tunnel from ripping open packets. These things don't even work anymore. Jennifer Jackson says, how old are you, George? I do have a 21-year-old son, so I'm definitely not 26. And you definitely have these beautiful I do have some gray, gray, like some gray silver streaks. streaks. So if you watch any of the videos when she gets up like this... You'll notice that she has uh, gray streaks, which I asked yeah. her to stop dyeing. So. I never dyed them. Okay, so I asked her to never dye them. Mm -hmm. So I asked her to never dye them. And then uh, she told me to get hair transplants. Because if I do this, you see how bald I'm getting. <laughs> he asked the doctor if if I could tramp transplant some of my hair onto his head and he's just like, no. No, I asked the doctor if I could put some of your armpit hair onto my head. That's what I asked. And he said no. He said no. Unfortunately, mm. he said no. Yep, unfortunately, he said no. Can you believe it? It's been an hour already. Over to, over an hour. Oh, I, I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. So we don't have mail tonight because we're on the road. And some people have asked, well, what about mail? What about a, a Florida address? The address will stay the same. It's the P.O. Box in Worcester. And just so like, how will we open mail? Ooh, it's, we're going to get it in Florida. It'll all be forwarded. Hmm. So the address will always be the same. It'll be the P.O. box. And then you put a forward order. You put a temporary forward order in. It'll all come to us in Florida. It'll always be the same, though. It'll be the P.O. box. So that does not change at all. We don't have mail with us on the road, but uh, we will get to mail this next Sunday. We should be back to mm -hmm. my place in Ohio on Sunday. Jane wants to know what will happen to patients and Christian. They'll continue Nothing. to work Everything for us. Everything stays the same. Yep. They'll continue to, to work for us, but in, in Ohio. Everything stays the same. So think of it this way. What happens, what happens when you go on vacation for a week? Life goes on. Everything mm -hmm. stays the same. And then you come back. Everything stays the same. The only thing that's different <laughs> is we're going on an extended vacation 
where there's more opportunity to film more for your entertainment. Essentially, we're expanding the business. The business. Okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> but this time with gators and wildlife. More gators. That's what we need, more gators. We still have not seen one gator. No sighting of any gators. Kind of disappointing. Maybe maybe we came at the wrong time of the year. Well, we, at least we saw we saw the manatee. Yeah. Dream Maloney sent $2 says, "Hi guys, keeping you in prayers for safe travels." Thanks, Dreama. Ba Bam. All right. Our hour is up. It was fun hanging out with you guys. Over 2,000 people are watching right now. You what, guys are amazing. What the amazing. hells are they thinking? <laughs> what the hells are they Make thinking? Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. We'll see you this coming Sunday. I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll be able to, we'll ha be able to have an auction this Sunday. Because we'll so be back in town, right? We'll have the warehouse auction on Saturday. George will be signing autographs there. And then Sunday... George will be signing autographs there. <laughs> and on Sunday, you won't hey, want Tony. my autograph. On Sunday, then we'll have our live stream back in Ohio, and then she can have her auction again. Mm -hmm. And then once we hear back from the real estate agent, we'll kind of decide on what's going on and then when we should pack up and go. Should we tell them about the upcoming auction in, um, in Worcester before we go? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Uh, what day is it? The 24th? 24th. The 24th of this month, um, there, will be, there will be a huge, where the H is silent, huge caravan auction where Jeremy was invited and asked to be the auctioneer. Right now, as of today, there's 40 units 60. going. 60. 60 units going up for auction, which could decrease, you know, assuming that. Just like that, they will decrease. <laughs> when George says there's 40, there's 40. And if... In a five Want minutes, she says there's 20, 20 there's going to be 20. And when she cancels, 20, boom, that thing is gone. People, 20 people will pay for their units and it will decrease to 40. Watch it, that probably, it probably will go down in number, but November 24th, there is an auction in Worcester. And uh, be there or be not there. That wouldn't be fun. <laughs> so come and hang out. Watch Jeremy be the auctioneer. You got to practice on your cadence, right? Or are you just gonna sing with your guitar? I was planning on bringing the guitar. I was just gonna, I was gonna do bids with the guitar. Okay, all right. That was the plan. Are you gonna post it anywhere else with the location? Yeah, we'll post it as the dates get closer. All right. We will continue to keep you posted on that. But if you can make it to Ohio, that's a Tuesday. If you're fun employed and can get away, it's gonna be a hails of a good day. 24. That'll be funny with the guitar. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. We love you. We'll see you this week throughout videos and on the next live. Good night. Say good night. Good night, baby.